Hey, what's up guys? It's Fruity, and we're back with episode 6 of Rolling Cutter Only. Oh boy, this one is not gonna be fun, I can tell you that right now. This stage is extremely short, but its boss is gonna drive me mental. This boss, I know, is pretty much stupidly hard with any weapon other than its weakness or the Mega Buster. And it's very RNG based. Under regular circumstances of just using the Buster or using its weakness, it's honestly easier than Yellow Devil and Copy Robot. It's the easiest Wily Stage boss. But under rules like these, I think it's gonna be really hard. So, yep, this stage is the shortest stage in the game. Um, I'm not sure why they made it so short, particularly considering how unique it is. Like, the other Wily stages use sort of like a similar set of tiles to make up the stages, which is like a um, they um, use a different palette for each stage. So the second Wily stage largely had the same aesthetic as the first one. It was just like you know green instead, and the last stage is similar too. But this stage is just completely different. It's just got this like these weird sponge walls. At least that's, that, that's what they look like a bit to me. Sponges. But, um, yeah, I guess it's because we're in the sewer and they wanted to get that across. Because here we go, this water comes along and this pipe pushes us along. You can run really fast with it and use it to jump over these guys, which I will gladly do. Uh, but eventually they turn to killer bullets. Um, and obviously if you shoot killer bullets, they give that little blast radius out, which can hit you very easily. So I wouldn't recommend shooting them, just jump over them. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the stage. Just a really long corridor, and when you get to the end, it's uh, boss time. I had to get hit just for the boss tonight. So this boss, oh boy! Whew. I am not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna give this an attempt. There we go. Attempt done. <laughs> I just wanted to concentrate for that first attempt, but yes. In fact, I actually did better than I expected, <laughs> to be honest. But as you can see... Oh, as you can see, Mega Man can't run against this water. It always pushes you along. But yeah, as you can see, this boss is insane. This boss is referred to as CWU-01P. See if you can remember that. <laughs> There'll be a test later. Basically, there are tons of bubble-based enemies in the Mega Man series, and they all have ridiculous, like, letter and number names, which are hard to remember. It's a bit of a running gag, almost. Um, so, since it's a tough name to remember, this boss is often affectionately re referred to as the Bubble Boss. It's a series of seven units, each one slightly faster than the last, which you have to take out. Obviously its weakness is the super arm because there are guts blocks there in the middle to throw at it Each guts block will kill one of these bubbles in one shot But there's only four guts blocks and you have to kill seven of the bubbles So you want to take out the first three with the mega buster and then use the guts blocks for the last um, Last four which are obviously the hardest ones since they get faster and faster Mega buster kills them in ten shots and they have no invulnerability frames the mega buster so you can spam them to death all you like However, the Rolling Cutter does a terrible job. I'm not sure if they have like more invulnerability frames when you hit him with the Rolling Cutter, or there's just some something else at play here, but somehow it takes forever to kill them with the Rolling Cutter. And it, as you can see, this is in... Like, I have to kill seven of these things, okay? It's not like three or something where it would be manageable. I have to kill seven of these things, and each one is harder than the last. This is why this is probably going to be, like, the worst thing in the entire game for Rolling Cutter only. I really think it is. Like, these shots aren't that hard, or aren't that easy to avoid either. Like, ugh. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, oh, damn it. I really didn't want to get hit another time. Oh, and he had to come out the top. That's another thing. This boss is in incredibly RNG-based, because it's completely random which hole the bubble unit comes out of, the left, the right, or the top, 
and you do not want them to come out the top because then they go right to the left straight away and it just just hits you and it's it's stupid basically and i'm dead i did not beat even more than three bubbles during that three units do you remember what they're called cwu dash zero one p i usually leave out the dash when referring to them um yeah it's uh pretty irritating I'm not sure if I would consider the whole thing one boss or seven individual mini bosses. Like, do, do they have like the same conscience, all of them? Are they actually like the same sentient being? I don't even think it's sentient. I think it's just a security system. That's the thing in our Mega Man Powered Up, the uh, remake of this game, which came out for the PSP. Um, I believe like when you enter this boss fight, it says like activating security system, activating bubble drones, CWU01P or something like that. I'm not sure if CW01P is actually supposed to stand for anything. I assume the WU part stands for Wily Units. Maybe it's like Central Wily Unit 01 Special Person thing. I don't, I don't know. Person. Power. 01 Power. That's what the P stands for. P stands for Power. Do you want to see? Look, even the Mega Buster is a P here. I've always thought that stands for power. I've heard some ridiculous people saying it stands for person. Like, how does that make any sense? How does it stand for person? It's a weapon. Like, like power makes sense. You have, like, lots of old arcade games where you get, like, a P, P0, zero, zero, P O W, which is POW, obviously short for power. I just assume that P is another abbreviation of that. And it took me nearly half my health to take down one of these units. One of them. See what I'm talking about? I need to strategize. I need to stop rambling and start actually coming up with a reliable strategy for killing these things with this weapon because it's just not working. Oh my god, how many hits? Did I used like five rolling cutters and it didn't kill it. I'm half tempted to do that thing where I send the rolling cutter off screen so I can shoot another one really quick. But the problem is I can't be that close to the edge of the screen because the bloody bubbles are so gigantic. This is gonna be insane. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be the hardest thing in the entire game by far. This boss, that is normally easy under regular circumstances, becomes a nightmare boss under these rules. It's it's pretty ridiculous. Legit a nightmare boss. Like this is like freaking perfect run of quick man material here, I swear. Okay, maybe it's not that hard, but no, actually it might be that hard, I don't know. We'll see. Because I've not even gotten three, or maybe, was it, have I gotten three of these units down? I, I think I've beaten three. I haven't beaten four, that's for sure. I think I just need to get good at dodging the shots. And I feel like trying to hit him only briefly with the rolling cutter, I feel like it going through him isn't doing any extra damage. I want to be able to fire off a new rolling, new rolling cutter as quickly as possible, basically. We're not doing too awful. And it came out the left side, that's what you want to see. Left side's the easiest to deal with. So... Oh, he's getting a bit too fast for me now, though. I, I can't handle this. It's too fast. And this is only the third one. Like, they, every one is faster than the last one. It isn't like the first three are a certain speed, then the next three are a certain speed. Literally, each one is faster than the previous one. So this is literally going to get harder and harder with every bubble until the seventh bubble. Like, the seventh bubble goes around the whole screen in, like, less than two seconds. Like, I, I don't know, maybe that's an exaggeration. It might be, like, three seconds. But you see you see my problem, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. You see my problem with this boss under these rules. I've hit him with the rolling cutter five times now, and he's still not dead. There we go. It took six hits. Six. And I'm having to focus on dodging. If I if I didn't have to focus on dodging his shot so much, then this mightn't be as bad. If I just had to focus on dodging the bubble itself, it wouldn't be so hard. But as it stands, this is just ridiculous. Like, okay, I think... Oh, come on, how did that hit me? And he's still not dead somehow. What the hell, I've hit him like six times. Seven times? What the... What? I swear this is just random how many times you have to hit him. Like, what the hell is... I might have to like split this over two videos or something. I am not beating this in like, like, 
I don't even know if I'm going to beat this in an hour, honestly. I, I think an hour would be an optimistic estimate for how long this is going to take me. Because it, oh my god, this is, this is, that was the, like, the third bubble. Like, it, this is, do you understand how hard this is right now? Do you actually understand? Like, this is stupid. At least the stage is incredibly short, so it doesn't take long to get back. But this is not that much consolation when I'm stuck on the boss forever. <sighs> of course. Oh god, how long is this gonna take? Jesus. Freaking hell. I got three down. Finally. And I'm, I'm not gonna make this. Yo, oh, what? <sighs> the first one moves too slow. There, I said it. The first one actually moves too slow. It is actually harder because of how slow the first bubble moves. The second and third ones are actually the easiest, I'm finding. And I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so... <sighs> Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna stick here. No, that was a terrible idea. No, was doing okay. I got to the fourth bubble. Does that count for anything? No, no, it doesn't. Oh boy. Oh god. I think. I think if you don't hit it for as long with the rolling cutter, it dies quickly. I honestly do. I think if you just touch the edge with the rolling cutter, I think it dies in less hits. So if you don't hear that sound of it, like, supposedly hitting it multiple times, like, like if you do this, that really, like, long sounds like it's hitting it tons of times, I think it's actually having the complete opposite effect and making it so that it takes longer to kill. Because I swear, if I just get edge shots, it's not as bad. Like, if I just... Like, I don't know, though. I don't... I honestly don't. Great. Kill me. Oh my god, this is such a good attempt. Oh my god, that's so fucking fast. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh my god. Look at how fast it is. Look. Do you see the problem? Do you see the problem now, my friends? Do you... Nah, mate. I'm done with life, basically. That is the third slowest bubble, and it's that quick. I'm done with life. I'm gonna take a break for a moment. Okay, just stopping the recording in three, two, one. No, that's not it. There's nothing. I think if I do this, I might be the first person ever to do it. Like, because I can't find any footage of it on YouTube. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Three, two, one, go. Well, we're dead. Don't 
get it. Uh... Okay, you know what? I've spent enough time on this. I'm gonna try a trick. I'm gonna try a very special glitch, which, as I've already mentioned previously, is infamous for its use against the Yellow Devil. Basically, select pauses the game, just like start does, and it also resets hitboxes. So if you constantly mash select to pause and unpause while a weapon is in an enemy's hitbox, you can hit them multiple times. Let's say you can hit the Yellow Devil multiple times with um, the Thunderbeam particularly works well because it has a huge hitbox. But you could do it against just about any boss. It um, is just most well known for Yellow Devil. I'm going to give that glitch a try. Yes, I do feel a bit guilty for cheating, but I've been at this for about 40 minutes now, and I've never beaten the fifth bubble. There are seven bubbles, I've been at this for 40 minutes, and I have never, not even once, beaten the fifth bubble. And keep in mind, each bubble is exponentially harder than the last one. That is how difficult this is. That is how hard this is. As far as I'm concerned, this is going to take me a very long time to beat legitimately. So the way I see it, cheat to beat it now, get the game done, finish the let's play, and then in my own time over the course of several weeks I'm guessing, try and beat this boss legitimately without this glitch, and then upload it to YouTube as a separate bonus after this let's play is finished, because I, I cannot feasibly see myself beating this boss any time within a few weeks, like, it's just, it's not happening, you, you, you have to be an expert at this to be able to do it, like, like, I mean, grand master level of just expert, like, so I'm gonna try it, I don't know how well it'll work, I'm just gonna keep mashing it, just gonna keep, wow, that's a weird beeping sound, that doesn't usually happen, I guess it's because of the sound of it hitting the enemy, I'm just gonna keep doing this, I hope something happens, I'm constantly pausing and unpausing the game, hoping that the bloody thing dies, basically. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a little bit so it actually has time to, like, make contact and reset the hitbox. I don't know if it's working. I don't feel like it's working. Um, I've been doing this for ages now. Why is it not dead yet? Okay, I hit, let's see if that had an effect on it at all. Okay. I'm just sitting here. I'm gonna, gonna leave a little bit more of a break. Oh, oh, oh. Pause when I got hit. Can the thing die, please? Like, what the hell? Come on. I've hit it so many times. You're seriously telling me I can't even cheat my way out of this one? You're seriously telling me I can't even cheat my way out of this one? Is this, is this what you're telling me? Oh boy. This is stupid. Okay, let's just see if that had any effect at all. Let's see if this takes less hits. So there's one, there's one legit hit. There's two legit hit. Three. Four, uh, five, six, not looking good, seven, nope, it did nothing, because those other two make nine, I can't even use the pause glitch. Guys, I'm not kidding when I say this is going to take me several weeks if I actually try and beat it, like, I'm, I'm not exaggerating, this is going to take hours of work, hours and hours. Hours of work. I'm not. This is probably going to be the hardest thing I've ever done in a video game. If I actually beat it in the end, I am not exaggerating. Like this, unless there's just some easy way out that I'm missing. This is like mind-bogglingly difficult. Okay, like because it takes on average like seven to nine hits from the rolling cutter to kill each one right you got that seven to nine hits for some reason it's inconsistent because the stupid rolling cutter hitbox and the invulnerability frames of these bubbles no clue how it works it's completely messed up and glitched or whatever seven to nine hits per bubble there are seven bubbles do the math we are talking like 
50 something hits here, 50 something hits, and the rolling cutter is not exactly a fast weapon to fire, is it? It's one shot at a time, and I'm constantly having to dodge, they constantly get faster, it kills you in 7 hits even when you're on a full bar of health. This is... it. It's off the scale. It's actually blown my mind so much I can't even comprehend it. It's like trying to comprehend Graham's number, it just can't be done, okay? You just... it just... Your mind collapses into a black hole, basically. So you know what? I'm not doing it. Again, I'll practice it. Believe me, I'm not giving up on this forever. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat the first three bubbles legit with the rolling cutter. And then I'm going to use the super arm to beat the rest. Okay, just kill me. I can't be bothered beating it on this life. I think that's game over. Whatever. I'll meet you back here and we'll do that. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the first three bubbles legit with the rolling cutter, then use the super arm to cheese my way through the four hardest ones. So, basically, this is gonna be me showing off what skills I've learned from my, like, 50 odd minutes of fighting this guy rolling cutter only. And I'm not doing a very good job of showing off what I've learned, because to be honest, I'm not paying attention. I don't care that much anymore. Basically, what you do, I'm gonna get, no, that was a bad idea. Uh, I still can do this. I, yeah, I can still do this. Um, you d no, obviously I can't. You just have to, it's so hard to explain, okay? And I'm too frustrated to explain what you do. You just lure him around in a circuit, hitting him with this rolling cutter when you can. Try to lure his shots, but it's pretty much impossible to lure his shots because he's moving around the screen constantly and he gets faster and faster with every single one. The oh my god, Capcom unwittingly created one of the hardest bosses in game history. Like, Yellow Devil is literally, like, like you can find top 10 hardest bosses in video games and Yellow Devil is going to be on the, that list. Yellow Devil is freaking child's play compared to this. This is... I dare you to find me a boss that's harder than beating this guy rolling cutter only. I dare you. I honestly do. I mean, I don't know, maybe in, in terms of challenge runs, like there's a certain boss in a certain game where if you just try and beat him using a certain weapon, it's harder than this. But like, under typical circumstances, could you find a boss harder than this? Like, under reasonable circumstances? I guess that's not really fair to compare though, because I'm not fighting this guy under reasonable circumstances. But still, it's so... just drives me insane. I'm, I need to concentrate, okay? I did a freaking awful job on that attempt. Like, stupidly bad. Just let me concentrate. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna have some quiet time here. Alright, super arm time, time to show off the power. Die, Bubbles! Vengeance! Vengeance! Vengeance shall be mine! Die! All of you die! It's done! It's done! See, it's easy! Yeah, no sweat, no sweat, bro, no sweat. Whatever, it's just so easy, so easy. Look at how easy that is, rolling cutter only. <coughs> <coughs> Yes, I will work on that off-screen. 
for a very, very long time. Do not expect that boss to be beaten rolling Tartar only any time during this Let's Play. That will be an an if, not a when, an if I beat that boss rolling cutter only, I will upload it to YouTube as its own separate video, and I will, like, literally throw a party if that happens. Like, <laughs> CW01P rolling cutter only party. Get hyped, people! Epic rave party! Epic rave party! I'll see you guys next time.